गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द पार्ट सेकंड रिलेटेड टू सिंगल फेज एसी सर्किट्स इन टू मास्टरडे क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट द रेजिस्टेंस ओनली सर्किट एंड इंडक्टेंस ओनली सर्किट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस the capacitance only circuit and the combination of capacitance and inductance circuit so ac circuit with capacitance c if an alternating voltage is applied to pure capacitor of a capacitance c then a current i starts flowing and since a certain time t the charge on a condenser is q so the potential difference across it will be equal to this so this is the charge divided by the capacitance and this is nothing but is the voltage drop and this voltage drop is equal to this so it is mentioned here it means charge is nothing but q equal to capacitance multiplied by this instantaneous voltage here so that is given by here now we know the capacitor current is equal to the rate of change of the charge so that current we can obtain by differentiating this equation so we differentiate this equation and we are getting this one here and this is cos omega to convert in the sign putting by this one and at the maximum current is t equal to 0 so that's i max it becomes equal to this so my current is represented by v equal to i max sine omega t pi by 2 so from this equation and our applied voltage equation we can see from this equation this is the our applied voltage and it is the current flowing through the condenser you can see this is the difference is pi by 2 here it means plus pi by 2 so it means the current is uh, leading from the voltage here and that facial notation we can give like this is it okay so you can see here this also our applied voltage and instantaneous current flowing through capacitance it is observed that the current leads the applied voltage by pi by 2 and i can representing these things in the wave diagram waveform as well as in the phasor diagram you can see in the phasor diagram you see the voltage here but current is here so it is leading by pi by 2 and in the phasor diagram you say when the voltage is 0 then the current is maximum here you can see it is also leading by pi by 2 or you can see the 90 degree okay so you can see this here you will uh, i will again explain uh, this diagram when we will talk about the power also First, you see here only the voltage, this many of our voltage, which is lagging behind the power um, by pi by 2, or we can see the current is leading ahead by the voltage by pi by 2. So, from the last slide, you can see this expression from this one I max equal to mu max upon 1 by omega c. So from this what we can calculate 1 upon omega c is nothing but v max upon i max and it is nothing but is the capacitive reactance and this is represented by xc it means x is this one we know the capacitance is represented by the faraday and omega is represented by the radian per second so this is nothing but the reactance is represented by the ohm and what is measurement of this basically it measures of the opposition of changes in voltage across the capacitance
capacitor. We have seen same in a inductor that opposes the current and here we see uh, our capacitance opposes change in voltage here. So if I want to write the impedance of power capacitive circuit, then how I can write? Uh, voltage divided by the current, you see this one, this is, and the current is leading here. So I put this, and because it is divided, so this term becomes equal to this one, and it's my minus sign here. And you can write like this way, this is minus sine 90, so this becomes equal to this. So you can see here in the impedance part, the resistive part is zero and the capacity part is given by 1 upon omega c. Now we can calculate power using P equal to Vi, this is the instantaneous power here. So put the all, the all the values here and this becomes equal to 2 omega 2 double frequency. And if we are taking the average power on a complete cycle, then this is become this becomes equal to zero. So what we can see the uh, power absorbed in pure capacitive circuit becomes equal to zero when I am talking about it. I am talking about the average power. So average power is zero. And this you can see from this also because our uh, positive power in the half in this quarter equal to the same is negative power here. So if we take the average, then it becomes equal to zero here. This will our power here. That one our maximum power. That's our instantaneous power that is given by this. And when I will take the average of this, then it becomes equal to zero. Okay. So uh, we want to explain what is the meaning of power P equal to zero in power capacitive circuit. So we will see from our diagram, I am talking about the first, about this one. I am talking about this, this quarter here, okay. So in this case, the energy taken from the supply circuit is stored in the capacitor in the terms of the electrostatic energy and that is given by half cv square it means we, now we are talking about the charging of capacitor in the first quarter we can see okay but in the next quarter you see the uh, power becomes negative see in previous slide here in this case in this case, in this quarter, you can easily see what happening. Our voltage, uh, our current is in this direction, or you can say, uh, you see here, our power is negative in this quarter. So in this quarter, it was this one. In this condition, it is stored, uh, taken from circuit by the capacitor. So it's showing the charging here. And in this case, that the charging power again, uh, returning back to the source. So now it is known as the discharging because the, the in this cycle you can see the our current is decreasing here and our power is representing like this way. So the power is negative here. So the next quarter current decreases, power becomes negative. It means returning the stored power in the electric field which is the electrostatic energy to supply source. It is nothing but the discharging of capacitor. And this chain of event repeated itself during the next half cycles of the alternating currents. Thus, a proportion of current is continuously exchanged the field and the capacitive circuit. Field is here, electrostatic field. And the power consumed by the purely capacitive circuit is zero. That is the meaning of P equal to zero here. Now we will see the our next AC circuit where we have the combination of resistance and inductance here. You can see in this circuit what we are doing. I have uh, a resistance here and this resistance series connected with the inductance in series here. So this and here we have our 
AC source, here we are applying here. Okay, so circuit that containing a resistance connected in series with the coil having pure inductance L is known as the RL series circuit. And here we are applying this much voltage here. So the current I will flow here in this circuit. And you can see the, the if I represent then this current flowing through the resistance is uh, IR and the current flowing through the inductance is IL. But you know these are connected in the series. Okay, you can see here these are connected in the series. It means the current flowing from both the uh, passive components is equal. So whether I am representing IR or whether I am representing IL, so IR equal to IL or this is equal to I that we want to say here. Now we see here the phasor diagram of RL series circuit here. And if we are talking about the pure resistive circuit in this case, uh, our current and voltage both are in phase that's why the current is that in this direction or in our voltage also in this direction here so that is represented here but when we are talking about our pure inductive circuit in this case what we can say the our uh, voltage is leading by pi by 2 angle so you can see the voltage is represented here for inductive circuit and current is here so i uh, make the phasor diagram uh, for the RL circuit here. And what we can write the voltage that is the drop here, which is nothing but VR is nothing but IR and VL is nothing but I XL. XL was the inductive reactance, so that is given here. So this the value of this voltage is given by i xl and this is given by i r and we have seen in this diagram because is in the in our inductive circuit which is leading by the pi by 2 angle which is represented here so when i want to write the total voltage because it is you can see here this is the total applied voltage that is equal to uh, vr plus vl it should be equal to this but as you know the voltage of an inductive circuit or you can say on the inductor that is ahead by 90 degree of voltage drop in resistance here you can see from so when we have the difference of 90 degree between two component then uh, i already discussed about the j operator so we will use the concept of uh, j operator here to denote this leading in j operator the 90 degrees uh, represent the leading by uh, leading by 90 degree in anti clockwise direction so same you can you can see in the phasor diagram he vr is here and VL is here and it is the in the anti-clockwise direction and it is leaded by uh, 90 degree angle. So that's why I am using my G operator here and in this case that I can write this way then put the value of uh, uh, VR and VL here then uh, common out our I here. So this is nothing but it is the impedance of RL circuit here. So this impedance is given by this and I can write the phasor notation of this. This is nothing but the square of R and the square of this. And if I want to know what is the value of my phase difference angle that you can calculate by your phasor diagram um, of voltage or by our um, impedance diagram. We can also call it is the voltage triangular. So you can see the our 10 phi is nothing but 
V R divided by V R, or this is given by I X L or I R. So this becomes equal to this. So you can calculate your phi is when you will do your numerical problem. That time these concepts will be very useful. So try to understand very carefully the meaning of all these things. So it's my impedance here. If I want to take my resultant voltage that which I am representing in voltage triangular, it is voltage of uh, voltage drop on uh, we can say in the resistance or here it is uh, inductive voltage here so the uh, resultant is represented by this v and v equal to the uh, i and total impedance here so that is taken by this way and if i take this and this so that is nothing but we already seen it is this so i represented here two triangle one is the uh, voltage triangle this is very clear you can see here and this one is the impedance triangle here the impedance it means pure i am talking about here pure resistive circuit i am talking about the pure inductive circuit and this is nothing but the combination of these two okay so it means uh, z is the total opposition offered to flow the alternating current by rl series circuit and it is called impedance of the circuit and it is measured by the ohm so this, that is about the impedance here now we will see the power in rl series circuit so it is uh, our instantaneous uh, voltage that is the current here because we we see uh, in our phasor diagram we have already seen here in our phasor diagram you can see this one your current here the current direction is always here when we are talking about uh, resistive circuit then uh, voltage and current both are in phase so this but when we are talking about uh, pure inductive circuit then it is in this direction because it's leading by the pi by 2 angle here and if we are talking about the rl series circuit and that condition our v is now this one okay so our v is this one at that condition if i am representing this is equal to vm sin omega t and that condition my current become will represented it by uh, im sin omega t minus phi and phi is nothing but it is the phase difference when we are talking about rl series circuit that is the meaning of this equation is it clear now <clears throat> the power is given by v and i and they put these values it's a very simple mathematics we are doing every time this and then i will take the average of uh, this power for a complete cycle and this condition you will see this second term becomes equal to zero and the first is and it is nothing but it is zero. vm upon root 2 and v or oh, is is misprinted here it is im so the im uh, vm upon 2 and uh, uh, we can say i m upon 2 and cos phi and this term becomes equal to 0 so this is nothing but we uh, rms value of voltage this is the current rms value and it is multiplied by the cos phi and you know the cos phi is nothing but it is the power factor of the circuit so here we can know about the power as well as the power factor also so you can see here this power factor if we am talking and uh, cos phi taking my this this diagram by whether i am to using impedance triangular or i am using voltage triangle and that condition if i calculate the cos phi then what becomes equal to this divided by this or this divided by this and that will give us the we will call it the power factor here so our power factor is the ratio of resistance to impedance in the AC circuit here and now what we will do we will put the value of uh, here because in the last slide you can see this is our power V RMS IRMS and cos phi so I am putting the value of V RMS here and value of the cos phi here so you can see put uh, putting after putting all these values we will get here i square rms uh, square of rms value of current multiplied by the resistance so from this what we can 
say or it's over what is our conclusion that the power is actually consumed by the resistance not by inductor that is the meaning of this now i here uh, draw the power triangle also because when we will do the numerical problems that time these concept will be very useful so i will draw here the power triangle here and from that you can see here because it is our total voltage and from uh, voltage uh, triangular or, or, or what we can see the voltage triangle you can see the, the vr is nothing but v cos phi and vl is v sin phi so put i uh, this value and then multiplied by i so this is nothing vi is nothing but it was the apparent power and this was already discussed in the power factor lecture this one thing but it is the real power and vi sin phi is nothing but is the reactive power so this power is represented by volt ampere and it was represented by the watt and it is represent a volt ampere re reactive so this is uh, about the uh, power triangle also now we will see what is the waveform for the power so that i will discuss in the next slide so you see here this is i am representing the here I'm also representing my voltage waveform, then representing current waveform. Here you can see the current waveform and the this one. This one is our power wave. So what we have seen here, if I have voltage here, then my current is lagging behind from the voltage by, by the angle of phi here. So that is represented it here. You see my current is started here. So that, that is not uh, because if I am talking about the resistive circuit, then it becomes equal to zero. But when I am talking about uh, uh, what I can say is the inductive circuit, that is become equal to 90. But here, um, because we are using the series combination of R and L, so that condition we have seen there is the angle between voltage and current is the phi phase angle so according to this we draw this and here you can see in this direction what our currents becomes like this way this one is our current which is negative then you can see it's positive current then in this cycle it becomes again negative and this is the positive so if i am talking about this whole cycle or you can say complete cycle here 0 to 2 pi and that condition what you can see the negative in between 0 to phi angle is it okay then it is between pi or you can say 180 degree to 180 plus phi because this angle is phi this this this, this is phi so this is again from uh, 180 to 180 phi in the both condition it will be negative and rest of time what we can say it is positive and positive is it okay so the area of the positive is larger than the area of the negative loop so we can see the net power of complete cycle is positive that i want to say here so you can see very clearly you what is the meaning of voltage current power when it will be positive when it will be negative when the power will increase when power will decrease how much uh, power is consumed by the RL circuit everything we have discussed here and I think you understand the basic concept or the theory behind the series circuit here if you have any problem then you can write a mail to me on sham at the rate gwc.ac.in thank you